right, time now for my final guests. Now, they sang for us earlier. They are one of the most successful bands of all time. Will you please welcome back the one and only Westlife. Let's see you. <laughs> You know what I mean? Hey, I'll plug yourselves on there. You have to shoot me a bit dizzy. Mike, Mike, you might need to pull Your mic fell out. Oh, is it my mic? Where's my mic from? Is it there? Can you... Oh, it's there, yeah. You have to excuse me, lads, after that spin. I'm a bit... dizzy. fabulous. Do you want to go? No, thanks. No, no. You never made me cry this time. Do you know, last time they were on the show, they sang this song, Anthony, I sat here. I sobbed. <laughs> I, 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 it wasn't like a little. I sobbed. Yeah, and I didn't care up, who yeah, saw yeah. me. Do you remember? That's yeah, right, yeah. It was. I was like, here. I, I've got my hard face on today. I thought I ain't gonna cry. So I pinched <laughs> me leg. Tough as nails. <laughs> oh, hard as rock. Now, has this got special significance for you? This song. Yeah, it has. Um, it's as the song. It's called "I'll See You Again." Yeah. Uh, it's about um, somebody passing away. And, I know. And I didn't listen. Them. I was like, yeah, I was yeah. humming <laughs> in my mind. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, unfortunately, myself and Keane's dad's passed away this year, oh, mine a month solid. ago. Yeah. And uh, Keane's in July. Yeah. So um, both of them. Um, well, my dad had heard this song, and both of our parents, both of our mums, loved the song now. So. It was on the album anyway, so we kind of felt now we've, we've, uh, we'll do it in their kind of memory. And, and this album, there's pictures of both of them on it, and we yeah. kind of dedicated the album to them. So. Oh, that's lovely, that. What a nice tribute to them, eh? Do nice. you know, I hear the accents, it makes me just want to rush over to <laughs> Ireland. Yeah. Honestly, get myself a Lily's <laughs> Bordello. <laughs> <laughs> I can see yeah. how you upstairs in the Jean top again. room in the library sitting holding court. Oh, I've, I've, I've I sat there, man. I've <laughs> come out, I take sunglasses when I go out. Because <laughs> no, so, I know I'm going to come out in daylight <laughs> like an old vampire. <laughs> Some of the tracks on here, though, are quite edgy, aren't they? Um, there's definitely a little bit of a different sort of edge to some of the songs, yeah, as you yeah. said. Um, I mean, we went, kind of went to America and we thought outside the box a lot with this album. There's still very much the Westlife classics on there, the kind of vintage sort of Westlife style of the ballad and the piano yeah. and stuff. But um, I think all the other songs, there's something new about them, something fresh and a bit more modern, you yeah. know? I mean, we haven't gone down some crazy, like, electro grime route or anything like that, you know? Bit of grunge. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not just yet, maybe on the next album. But, um, yeah, I mean, they're just a little bit fresher, really, and, you know? <laughs> I think they're more true to what we see ourselves as being, yeah. which is still very much a pop act, but yeah. just not kind of always going down the road of the kind of old crooner songs yeah. and stuff, you know? Do you know, yeah. Paul, with, with Anthony sitting here, it's like Brian's back in the band. <laughs> <It's> like, <"Brian's." laughs> Does that feel weird now? Yeah. I mean, it's, it, when, you, um, when you lose one member... What? It's felt very for a while, but I mean, it's so long ago now. You're splitting, the, when you're splitting the paychecks four ways, it's much nicer. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, sensible. It's been a while though now, hasn't it? Six, Six years, yeah. Six years. Yeah. Yeah. We've yeah. actually been longer it. without him now than we have been with him. Yeah. So yeah. it's. Um... And we're still talking about him. I know. Yeah. Which song did you write? You wrote song on it. Um, well, I co-wrote a song um, called Reach Out. Yeah, it's number twelve. Yeah. Clever <laughs> lad. Now, what have you been up to? Because you, you haven't, you've, you sort of didn't work for a year, did you? You took time off. Yeah, we all had a year off. Good um, for you. Yeah, yeah no, well, really. No well, point killing yourselves. Seriously. Well, we kind of felt like, you know, we got to a point with Westlife where, you know, we had ten years, nine albums, and we kind of really kind of needed to go away and, as Bono said, uh, dream it up again, you know? Yeah. In a sense of just kind of like... When, when you're doing it, like, on a daily basis, you know, yourself, sometimes it can, it can become a little bit kind of like... You forget really what it is you're actually doing, and when you're when you're I making. I forget them on telly sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Same, but it is. It's like you know, you forget you're making music. You forget that you're actually living. You need your a year dream. off. I do. I <laughs> do. do. I need six years off, mate. <laughs> <laughs> banging up in a straight jacket, that lot of you. But I know exactly where you're coming yeah. from when you so say that. So we just kind of felt like we wanted to yeah. kind of step back from it, dream it up again, yeah. and then come back in with a completely fresh approach. Yeah. A poach. A poach. Poach, poach. 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 poach salmon. <laughs> um, and, and, you know, I think the result of that is definitely in the music. Yeah. I think when, when our fans hear the music and hear, you know, what we've managed to kind of put together, I think the reason it's that good is because yeah. we actually came in with a, a new attitude yeah. towards it all. How's married life, by the way? Married life is fantastic. You enjoying it? Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah, um, you've been touring, haven't you? You've been all around the world. Um, well, I've, yeah, on, on, on the time off, I kind of done a little bit of holiday and stuff like that. We kind yeah. of went to Southeast Asia and Japan and India and stuff like that. It was great, you know. I mean, it's nice. The year off, that's one of the other things we got to do, was do stuff we've kind of been putting on the long finger for a long time, you know. Because um, you so. work hard, don't you? I mean, you do, though. Yeah, you have I mean, to. everyone yeah. works hard, but, you yeah. know, I mean, you know, we kind of took the opportunity because we could. We were lucky to be able to take the year off, you know. Not yeah. everyone can do that. Yeah. There's a lot of bands out there, so you've got to... 
Kind of, kind of look behind you over your shoulder. Even and... when you had, like, you, you know, when you weren't, weren't, you had your ear up, did you keep the eye open? Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course you do. You, you, yeah. you can't help but watch the charts and watch what's happening. Yeah. I think us taking the year off, it made us miss Westlife a lot. Yeah. So we wanted to kind of, we were so eager to get back to work. Like, last February, like, when did we start? When did we start? And yeah. It was like, we wanted to Did you to get miss back. each other? Oh, we did, of course. Yeah, we still yeah, see yeah. each other here and there and stuff, you know? I mean, we kind of... I mean, there's always a birthday or, you know, some sort of get-together or a meeting about, you know, we had a meeting, you know, in February and one in April and stuff like that, you know, so yeah. you kind of do see each other and stuff. And when we actually got back to work, it honestly was like as if we never were away yeah. in terms of, like, it was just back to, back to normality within well, five minutes. Well, goes like that, doesn't mm. it? Yeah, yeah. yeah he does. Now, whose wife's expecting? My wife, Gillian. Ah, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she's, uh... How many kids is this now? Is this the first? No, it'll be three now. Three? Mm. Oh, well, they're knocking them out big time. They're right? telling me. That there's, there's, there's more, there'll be more babies in Westlife than there actually is members of Westlife. <laughs> well, they will be a spin-off when they get older. Oh, yeah. OK. Now, is it true Simon Cowell has been styling you? Is that said? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. I was going to say... If Simon Cowell was styling you... We'd be all like up, up here. here. <laughs> I've got that... You'd have choppers like tombstones, wouldn't you? You'd have, <laughs> you'd have, 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 have yeah. square haircuts as well. Yeah. Yeah. Got Look, you've got hair. loads of your fans here today. <laughs> <laughs> see the girls over there, they are this flag. Yeah, I see that. me off saying that. No, but well, in, fairness, in fairness, Simon, you know, Simon signed us 10, well, 12 years ago now almost. And, you know, he got, he's always been heavily involved in Westlife. Yeah. He's been our A&R man. For yeah. anybody who doesn't know that, it means, like, he picks the songs, finds the producers, etc. And, um, you know, he got seriously involved in this album. Like, yeah. you know, I think he kind of found, you know, I think because we were so passionate about it yeah. and we were so kind of determined to kind of, you know, make this an amazing album, he kind of seen the determination in us. And I think that's the type of thing that he really likes. Yeah, so, he, him, yeah. yeah, he really, really got him behind us on this mm. one. But well, he does style Keen. Aye? He does style Keen. Oh, does he? <laughs> that's why, why, I, why I look the best. <laughs> like the glamour. <laughs> are you getting the road? Are you going on tour? We are, yeah. We're going on tour uh, next summer. Uh, we're starting our tour. And it's I think it's going to be announced in the next 10 days or so. So keep an eye on the website. <laughs> Twitter. I'm going to freak the women out now. Do you know this? You can smell like this lot now, girls. Yeah, yes. You got your own <laughs> perfume. Yeah, yeah. We have a perfume. We should have perfume. brought one for you. And yeah. the one you bring us, I one you miserable. Have. Have, have a little squares, is that? <laughs> well, is it um, not what it smell of? Um, it's fruity. only fruity, but um, yeah. it's got a floral essence to it as well. Oh, has it? Yeah, it's got a bit Supple of Supple undertones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, it's kind of um, it's designed actually, sort of, by. Um, by us and a company, and basically we kind of there was a lot of stuff that reminded us of our moms and wives and stuff like that. Um, it's what that we, we like a woman to smell like. Yeah, oh, it's a feminine, like scent, it's a feminine scent or whatever, you know. Um, yeah, what I like a woman to smell <laughs> of, money. <laughs> <laughs> We don't mind that either. Yeah, yeah, that's good, that's but it's good. called X and it's out there at the moment. What's it called? It's called X. It's a X. kiss for a kiss. Yeah, oh, X for a kiss. A kiss from Westlife. There you go, girls. Kiss from Westlife. Three listen, kisses, triple X. Listen, lads, it's really lovely to see you Thanks again. Thank you very much. Good, Good, luck. Luck. Good luck with the album Thank and you, you have a lovely Christmas. Thanks, yeah. guys. Ladies and gentlemen, please, come on. Woo! One of the nicest lads in the business, Westlife. Well, that's it for tonight. A huge thank you to my guests, to Anthony Cotton. Cheers, hey! Anthony. Hey! To Westlife, let's hear you. <laughs> to Animal Nick. To the skating willers from La Clique. And also to our little Robin here, lovely little Joanne. Join me on, have a great weekend. Join me on Monday with one of the stars of Top Gear. We've got wine tasting and window dressing. That's all live at five on four.